from Grace. Guess that's not going to be a large drop for anyone here. Shiva is back, hot off of her doing nothing in a mine four episodes ago during Jax's big metal arm lesson. So, maybe the old Sheev's girl will have more of a point this time. Annihilate them! You really want to be bringing up Annihilation, Shiva? The date's over. Even though Shiva was apparently yelling to annihilate no one in particular, Sub-Zero, Sonya, and Stryker, the Triple S team, happened to be nonchalantly wandering around this Red Sky Rock field. Maybe they're here because they're checking out the portal opening, but if that's the case, they probably should not have gotten caught off guard. I just hate how contextless so much of the action on this show is. When a lot of other shows just drop you into action at the beginning, they they tend to explain it later on, which this show is not going to. I'm gonna take out Shiva. Wait for the others. I don't need them. So there's really no reason here for Sonya being more reckless than usual. It's not like she has any personal backstory with Shiva. Now who does Sonya really want revenge on? Oh yeah, Kano. That guy in the last episode who Sonya did not rush off on her own to take on. But this hothead behavior would have actually fit in that episode, but we didn't have time when we had to focus on Nightwolf's computer woes. Maintain your current position. It's strategically wrong to take care of that time. Okay, Sonya's being a bit of an idiot, but what is the strategic advantage of standing there holding Stryker's hand? Plus, Liu Kang and Jax are over there fighting already, so it kind of makes sense to go help them. But this episode is about Sonya learning a lesson, so Stryker takes a Shiva fireball for Sonya. Stryker! That's it. They kill one. We kill one. Why can't you ever be a team player? You need to listen to Stryker the Sailor Man! Mellow out, Stryker. First priority now is to get you back to base. Sonya can take me. She should be suspended from active duty for what she did to me anyway. What she did to you? You don't take a bullet for someone and then say, Hey, look what you did to me! If they wanted this to make more sense, they could have had Stryker say, Hey, I need you to cover me while I get these rocks off of Sub-Zero, and she doesn't, and that's why he gets hit. You need time to cool off and think about what you did. Speaking of cool, you idiots, while I have this hard to keep going ice shield up, is not the time to have a performance evaluation for Sonya! Jax, I'm sorry, really. I know. Next time, you'll let Stryker die. This is really self-indulgent of Stryker to have Sonya fly him home in the middle of a battle just because he got a boo-boo while helping her. What if they got back to base and then Raiden was all, So, the rest of the team just got killed by the Shao Kahn. Maybe if they had one more fighter, things would have been different. Yeah, but Sonya made me get my arm hurt. She has to be punished. Say something, Nightwolf! I fear the wounds are fatal. And thus peace was brought to all the realms. Friendship. Friendship? Again? He'll be out of action for a while, fortunately. Our friends are in trouble. Hmm, it's almost like taking Sonya out of the fight with a bunch of mini-bosses wasn't a great strategy, Striker. Anyway, cause it's serious, that means the double uselesses are actually gonna go hell. Kiva, stay here, boy. Shouldn't you power up into Super Nightwolf for this? I don't think fixing the Shokan's computers is gonna end the battle, Nightwolf. At least you're not mad at me, boy. <laughs> Wow, I was gonna jokingly write that the wolf was growling at Stryker, but then it really was. Even injured, he can't catch a break. We could have handled them if you hadn't. Is this really a story about Sonya being a hothead or Stryker being a complainy wiener? Where do you get off after what you just did? Right. Do you need anything? A pillow? Something to eat? Spare me the goody-good routine. 
Remind me why I shouldn't pick on Stryker again? I need to see what's going on at the crater. Malware overload. Uh, it's your fault I was playing on Nightwolf's computer, Sonya. You're gonna have to fix it. Step aside, boys. Man, I wish I could be there. Look, you're suspended. Take it like an adult. Like I'm taking the situation like an adult. Now get me some more ice cream. I really am sorry for what happened. I just don't understand why you can't be a team player. I guess Special Forces kind of changed me. What happened? Kano took out my partner, Wexler. The pain was so bad after that, everything changed. I didn't know that, even though I was there when you told the story about that last episode. I'm so tired of all the fighting. The woman whose catchphrase in the show is combat time is tired of all the fighting? Sure, that seems right. Intruder alert, someone's penetrated base. This is because you didn't follow simple Dragon Jet startup procedure. Striker, you're preaching a lot of BS about being a team player, but I'm not seeing any such behavior on your end. Shokan warriors. I'll monitor their positions on the security cams and relay them to you. Don't put yourself out. Right. Teamwork, Sonya. That's the key. Hey. I learned my lesson. Good luck, Striker. Yes. Good luck. Please do not die. I would not want that. So Sonya starts bombing their own base to annoy the Shokan, because apparently that's a strategy Stryker approves of. Kiss off! Now, Stryker! Wait, what? He flooded the Shokan from the pipe Sonya was hanging in? Wouldn't that probably washed her out too? These are the Stryker strats? How ironic that it's just you and me. You don't even know what irony is, do you? Ah, uh, looks like the police are just gonna arrest the Shokan. Nah, it's just Raiden, who's apparently been trying to close this one portal for hours, which might make even less sense. There's only one way to guarantee victory here. Suspension! I'll be back, Thunder God! Once I figure out why I came in the first place! Now that Raiden's at the volcano, the portal closes easily, of course. Destroy the beast! I mean you guys, not me. I'm running away from it to attack the easy target. Ah, combat time! I'm so tired of all the fighting. Sonya manages to beat Beardy Shokan with her kiss off move, while the rest of the Shokan have apparently forgotten that they exist. Thanks. Like I said, you can get a lot by being nice. Point made. I thought you needed help. They do to pick up the place. Don't look at me, she made the mess. Make her clean it up. Ha <laughs> ha, that Stryker learned nothing. What a prick. Stryker, it's official. You suck. Time to send Zenkaro and his friends to the realm of no return. Oh man, I sure do love Raiden's sugar-coated murder. I feel much better. I don't believe it. Stryker petting Kiva? Believe it. And the wolf not gagging. Is there anyone in this group that likes Stryker? It's time to vote on what we do with Sonya. I mean, I was way more reckless blowing up a volcano, which Jax even pointed out by good luck punishing me. We decided to leave it up to Stryker. Hmm. That'll take some careful deliberation. And Stryker decides to milk it like a dick. You are no longer suspended. I don't get it. I thought you'd be thrilled. It might have been nice to have an excuse to run away from the endless fighting. Tone 
Whiplash! And on that sour note, we end the episode. Seriously. What was that? It's not like you couldn't tell a story about Sonya becoming disillusioned with their never-ending battles and wanting it to end, but that was not this episode. And her mentioning this one other time in the episode does not make this ending deserved or feel any less awkward. It makes no sense for the story to be about Sonya being a hothead, then apropos of nothing say she hates the fighting. Though it does make for a hilariously awkward ending that reminds me of that that Beachcomber Transformers episode. We won. Most episodes of Defenders of the Realm seem like several scripts just smash together and then they delete all the parts of the stories where they actually gave character motivations or proper development. I know I like making Stryker the butt end of a bunch of jokes, but this really could have been the opportunity to do something better with him and have him and Sonya bond over having to defend their base. What if when Sonya ran off at the beginning, it was after Stryker had asked her to cover him, but if she hadn't ran off, Liu Kang might have gotten killed by another show con. Make neither party really in the right on the issue. Also, have Stryker actually get mortally wounded so it makes more sense for Sonya to bow out of the battle. If you want the story to be about Sonya being sick of the fighting, this should have been told in the Kano episode or a follow-up to it. Maybe have the combat crew gain a victory over Kano only to find out he's taken someone else away from Sonya, making their win kind of feel mean meaningless. Something like this would be a much better lead-in to making Sonya feel disillusioned with all their fighting. And then you could have Jax have to convince Sonya that they need her on the team. Or even stupid Stryker could do it if you wanted to do something more with him than just being an ass. Next time on Defenders of the Realm, it's the introduction of Quan Chi! And not just this show, into anything! <laughs> Stay here and play nursemaid to strike her. <laughs> <laughs>